Are you trying to connect your Google Workspace email to Outlook using POP3 but hitting a wall? You are not alone. With Google Recent Changes, setting this up isn't as straightforward as it used to be. But what if I told you there is still a way and it involves a little secret weapon called Ad Password? My name is Carlos and I help small businesses around the world with their Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace subscription. For more information, visit itwithcarlos.com. Today, we're tackling this exact challenge. How to configure your Google Workspace email in Outlook as POP3, even after Google removed the less secure apps option. Now, here's an important part. For a long time, Google Workspace had the option called less secure apps. This allowed you to connect to your email using older methods that didn't use modern security. But this year, Google removed that option. Many older email programs and even Outlook when you set it up manually for POP3, used to rely on the less secure apps. Since it is gone, you cannot simply configure your Google Workspace email as POP3 without using modern security. But don't worry, there is a way around this. And it involves using something called Ad Password. This is Google's way of letting you connect to your account using application that can use the newest security features directly. We will walk you through enabling POP3 setting up two-step verification, creating that essential ad password, and finally, getting everything working perfectly in Outlook. Let's dive in. First, we need to make sure POP3 is enabled in your Google Workspace email settings. To do this, open your web browser and go to your Gmail or Google Workspace email account. Once logged in, click on the gear icon in the top right corner. That's your setting icon. Then, Click on See All Settings. Now go to the Forwarding and POP IMAP tab. We have it right here. Under the POP Download, you have to make sure POP is enabled. Within this test account, the POP is already enabled. You will be able to select it and enable it since the day you are enabled it. You can also select to enable it and download all your email history. Or you can select Enable POP for all emails that arrive from now on. Then you will scroll down and click on Save Changes. Next up, we need to enable two-step verification for your Google Workspace account. This is a crucial security step and it is required to create an app password. You need to go to your Google account security page. To go there, you can click on the upper right corner and then click on Manage your Google account. Then go to Security in the left menu. Then scroll down and go to the section How you sign in to Google. You need to look for two-step verification. We have it here and you have to enable it. For this account, two-step verification is already enabled. Now, within the two-step verification, you can scroll down and you will find the section Add Password. Click on it. In some cases, you might be asked to enter your Google Workspace password again, just to verify it is you. Here, you will enter a name for the password that you are going to create. I'm going to call it Outlook Password, POP3. Then I click on Create. The Add Password has been generated and I can copy the password. This is the add password that you will use in Outlook. So make sure you copy it. You won't see it again after you close this window. Now we should go to Outlook and manually add your Google Workspace using the add password that we just created. So we will now open Outlook and manually add your Google Workspace account using the add password that we just created. We have now opened Outlook and we are going to add an account. We need to click on File on the upper left corner and then click on Add Account. I will enter my Google Workspace email account, which is carlos at askitv.xyz. Then I will click on Advanced Options and then select the option Let me set up my account manually. Then I click on Connect. Then here I will select POP. 
and I will enter the add password that we just created. Click on connect. Now, in this case, Outlook has been able to identify this is a Google Workspace account. So it has configured the email service for us. So we can click on done. If Outlook asks you for the email settings, you can use the server information that I have here on the screen. I will also leave the email setting information in the description of the video. So now I can click on done. On the left, if I scroll down, I will find the Google Workspace account that we just added. In some cases, I may need to close Outlook and open it again. I scroll down and I find my email account here, configure it as pop. If I want to verify that my Google Workspace account has been configured as pop, I can click on file and then click on account settings and then account settings again. Here I will find my Google Workspace account has been configured as pop using the add password. And there you have it. Your Google Workspace email account is now configured as POP3 in Outlook. Remember that this add password can only be used for this specific setup in Outlook. I hope this video was helpful for those who prefer to use POP3 for specific needs. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for the channel to learn more on Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace. If you have any questions or comments, leave them here down below. You can also visit my website itwithcarlos.com for more tips and services. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Remember, stay secure in the cloud and keep tech savvy.